Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are doing well. Wanted to come to you with a quick lesson. It's going to be an exercise or a version of an exercise that we've already done before. It's more for dexterity. But if you know me, you know I like doing uh, arpeggiated based exercises, but this is more of a chromatic based exercise, but it's just as intricate. So pay close attention to this exercise. I'm going to be taking it step by step. Let's go. So hopefully you guys remember the exercise from before. It's going to be very, very similar to what we're getting ready to do, only because I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Um, so you want to reference that and I'll put the name of it here because I can't remember the exact name of that lesson, but go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So we were diagonally crossing the strings. I'll go over it really quick. Diagonally crossing and then flipping it upside down. Right, then moving up a uh, half step. So it's based on that exercise, but we're going to change some things about this exercise. And this is a prime example of what I say to you guys all the time is take these exercises, run with it, flip them, add different elements to them. So we're going to be adding a chromatic element to this exercise while diagonally crossing the string. So this is what I mean. So if you're, we're starting on G, we can do uh, chromatic four notes. Well, not four notes, but three notes. So you have G all the way up to B flat. Now you're going to do the diagonal cross. So you have B flat, D, G flat, B flat. Okay, so you get it? So you, you're going chromatic. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one. Now, when you get to that B flat, you're going to walk it up again. The same thing you did on the E string you're going to do here. So from B flat to D flat. So I'll play the whole thing in context. Now, guess what? When we end on that uh, D flat, we're going to go diagonally across again. So D flat, G, D flat, G. And then that's how you end the exercise. So all together. And you can actually do this with a metronome. So if you're counting in four, one, two, two three, four. Okay, so it works out. When you're done with that, when you're comfortable playing it in one spot, I always want you to modulate. The one reason, well, the only reason why I want you to modulate this exercise so you get used to it. It's more of a re repetitive exercise first, but the other reason is the frets get narrower as you go up the fretboard. So it's going to feel different in different places versus, okay, so you see how my fingers are a lot more closer together up here at the 12th fret or this higher register of the bass. So it's going to feel a little different. So I like you guys to practice these exercises in different registers of the bass, just so you'll feel comfortable with the fret size or the size or the spacing between the frets. So it's actually pretty simple. Up. 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 So you guys are going to modulate this exercise a half step all the way up to the 12th fret until you get there. Just for the sake of time, I didn't go up to the 12th fret, but I wanted to go up to that point just so you're not doing this exercise all day long, but you can even go backwards or, you know, descend this exercise as well in half steps. And that's the challenge too. So just flipping the exercise going backwards, completely backwards, completely flipping the exercise. That's an exercise as well. I know I keep saying exercise over and over again, but <laughs> this is an exercise lesson. So I'm flipping it. I'm going backwards. Instead of starting with my first finger, I'm starting with my fourth, going back down four, three, two, one, cross, three, two, one, cross. You see what I mean? So instead of going up one, two, three, four, and then crossing backwards, I'm doing the complete opposite. So there's tons of ways you can do this exercise and this helps with string skipping. This helps with your right hand or your picking hand or that technique. Um, and, and it also helps with your fretting hand. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.